I'll tell you what, it's tough to win here. And uh, they had a great crowd and great uh, participation. They had a red out and we played a good football team. Uh, but I really, really uh, uh, and ap appreciate the effort that the team and the coaches put out to win this ball game. Uh, you know, we scored in all three phases of the game, defense, special teams, offense. Uh, so, uh, you know, I mean, they played really hard, uh, you know, against a good football team. So I'm, I'm really pleased with them. And, and uh, you know, it's good going into a little bit of a bye, and then we'll go on to our next game. But yeah. we're going to enjoy this one for a couple hours. Yeah, talk about that, because going into the bye, it's a lot easier to do one and zero in whack play. Oh, there's no doubt. This this was a must-win game because this this is a team that I've been concerned about since the schedule came out. Because as you can see, I mean they've they've played uh, big-time schools really close, and they're at home. And uh, I know Sonny uh, Dykes is a great coach, and he's got a great coaching staff, and they've they've got talented players, as you can see. At number four. He's not the best receiver, one of the best receivers in the country. You know, I haven't seen him, but uh, you know, they're uh, you know they're, they're just a good football team, and and uh, and our guys really played hard the whole ball game. You know, we had we had little you know little things. We we, uh, we were letting a route come across the middle, and and the guy was just too fast for us. So we made some adjustments and finally got it corrected, and and. Uh, you know, and then you know, you know, we have things to work on. I mean, we've, we've. It's good to have a bye week so that we can work on things that we need to get better on and continue to get better. Royce Pollard, obviously, uh, he came out strong. He came out quick, and he definitely, definitely helped UH do exactly what they need to do: start fast. Royce is outstanding. As there were some great catches made by our slots and, and some of our other outside guys. The guy that was unbelievable is Mo. I mean, he made some passes, and I swear he was laying on his back uh, when he made them. I mean, he, he's a he's a magician sometimes. I mean, he, he just makes plays, and I'm really proud of him. And after that first quarter, like I said, Royce Pollard did help him out a little bit, but those, those he caught two touchdowns in the first quarter. Yep. You guys had to have been feeling really good seeing him just pick apart everything out of the air. Yeah, he did a great job. We came out, we came out in, in an empty set, which we hadn't shown, and and stayed with that for a while, and then we went back to our normal stuff and mixed it up a little bit. But uh, you know, I thought the offense did well, and then I thought the defense really played well when they had to. They had some three and outs and some sacks. I don't know. I don't have the stats, so, but I, I know we got a few sacks and nobody's been sacking this kid because he's really quick. Uh, so there were good things in all three phases of the game, but there are some things we have to work on. You know, we got some more PATs and field goals blocked and, and uh, I mean, you know, we, we have a ways to go, but it's good to get a bye so we can work on those. You guys come out of it. Well, Big win kind of makes the the plane ride home a little bit easier, doesn't it? Definitely. I remember in high school when you got those losses, you got that long bus ride home. But we didn't want to have that long flight home, that eight-hour flight uh, to think about, you know, what we did wrong. So we came out and played every play like like that play was going to win the game, win it was the game. So we came out and played hard. Not to take anything away from the accuracy that you had tonight, but basketball players always say when when they're shooting and they're lights out, it seems like they're shooting into an ocean. But when Royce Pollard is grabbing everything like that, is that kind of how it feels to chuck the ball in his direction? Definitely. There's times where things broke down, and I've seen one-on-one -on -one matchups with Royce, and uh, you know, I, I knew that he was he was on tonight, just going after the ball, and for that reason, in those situations, I'd throw a jump ball to him and let him make the play, and I think every time he did make the play, so it worked out for us. Now, first quarter, again, Royce is catching everything. You were making some miraculous throws out there. Uh, what's the thinking? I mean, obviously you guys said you want to come out fast. Do you feel like you definitely accomplished that? I think we got some stuff, stuff to work on. We didn't come out as fast as we wanted to. You know, we get the, the coin, we get the ball uh, off the bat off of a messed up coin toss, and we didn't do nothing with it. 
So in those kind of situations, we got to capitalize. Maybe. But overall, you know, we did what we needed to do to get the win. Well, I think we, we had a great offensive production, and it's looking good. We're going to enjoy this and get ready for the next game. Now, I know stats don't mean everything to you, but let's talk about your stats. Another 400-yard game, again, comes in a win, four touchdowns, no picks. What were you seeing tonight? Because obviously you had a pretty good game as well. Well, we've seen exactly what we studied from them. We knew that they were going to bring pressure. We knew that they were tough up front. They had great DNs, you know, returning linebackers, and a lot of guys that seen us last year. So you know, we, we schemed very well for them, and they, they ran what we thought they were going to run, and we were able to get squeeze the ball in there if it was, you know, in those situations. One and all. That has to feel pretty good. It does. It feels. I'm ecstatic right now. And uh, I don't know how to express it to you guys on camera, but I'm sure after all this is said and done, we're going to still be part of the airport ready to go home. <laughs> now, one of the biggest reasons that this team does have a reason to celebrate is your performance. First half, first quarter, you just come out unconscious. What was going through your mind? You're catching everything thrown at you. Um, I don't know. I was just focused. You know, I just, I really wanted to win, and you know, I just thought about a lot about it with film. You know, and I was just trying to get the feel for it, especially in the beginning like that. And after a while, it just kind of clicked. Oh, uh, everything just fell into place. Like I said, I just wanted to win. We have high expectations. I have high expectations for everybody and personal expectations. Um, we it just had to be done. Someone needed to do it. Yes, sir. Um, you know, now it's like every game's a championship game for us. You know what I mean? Because when you play in the league, you know, and you know, in the, in the WAC league, it's if you lose, you're pretty much almost done. You know what I'm saying? So um, we're really trying to focus on taking one game at a time. You know, we didn't look past this game because we know this is going to be a tough challenge for us. And now we get we got to fly up to San Jose in a couple weeks, and you know, we're going to look past them. Second quarter, actually halftime. You guys, as a defense, held them to 130 yards total. What was the mindset? What did you guys say to each other at the half? Uh, I guess basically, did you even know that you guys were stopping them as well as you were? Um, we, we knew that um, we were stopping them, you know, because we were getting our three and outs, we were getting the play stop, you know. At first series, we came out, you know, um, they had their fast tempo and we weren't really matching that tempo, you know. A lot of us were walking around, not getting the calls, not getting lined up, so our eyes were in the wrong area. You know, so they had a good first drive and we told ourselves, you know, we just have to um, settle down, pick it up, start picking up the tempo a little bit, match the tempo, and, you know, just get lined up and play. Again, halftime, you guys limit them to...